Oh, what a new Nova monkey. Olin's just gone on the fish show. <laughs> Jamie's drawn a flyer. <laughs> He's off on it, isn't you, mate? Come on, right, fish show preview. So, you can't Jamie have that. Like, you can't on, start no, with that. Mate, we're going. That's no, we're not. It. We're no, we're not. Yeah, come on. We're not. Come on, we're going. Show us your rigs. Starting you again. are in the final. You're getting one and chuck, Jamie. We'll go with this, How are we? you doing it? Yeah, we're going with it. No editing now. Come on. As you can tell, folks, we've recently been out with Will Raisin, so that's why I started off. That's a homage to you, Will. Today. Come on, we're Jamie. Not, we're not gelling today. No, yeah, so, we are. Anyway, yeah. yes, fish show prep. I've just spent... Where are you drawing? Come on, tell, tell them where you've drawn. No, I don't know. I don't want to predict. I'd love to predict. Yeah, no, I don't know. Be one of them. It's like I don't want to say the angling it. gods and all that, and you can't... I can't say the angling gods, no, but hopefully no, I'm no. sat in a very nice one. But anyway, yes, you lot are watching fish show. Yeah, we're going to talk about what I think it's going to be. Where, where are, are you going to start? What are you going to be doing first? What yeah, we're the start? Friday before, so we're a week away. Yeah, I'm mom. going once more. I'm going on Sunday, so things might change a little bit, but it's very windy Sunday, so I don't think I'll learn much. Is that the long-range forecast, is it? No, oh, this, right, this, week, this Sunday. I'm right, going okay. this Sunday. We're on Friday now. I'm going this Sunday for the last practice match. Obviously, you lot, that's been, that was in the past. All freaky and all that. So, anyway, Riggs. Did you just go something then? Past? Past, no, don't posh. I'll go ahead. All right. What are we going to do? Start, do, talk us through where you're starting off, or where you think you'd like to be starting off. Ooh, good shout. Do you know what I mean? Good shout at the minute. So, for those who've watched the... Oh, has the members match been out, Rich? Yeah. The members match has been out, so you've seen me have that practice match at Fisho, at Westwood, yeah. where I drew peg to, which Westwood. was the... <laughs> well, no, we're just not happening today, is it? Come it's on, just... Jamie. Come on. Got to correct you when you say it. No caffeine. Um, I've been on peg two, which was a peg I drew in Fisho last year. Was it actually? That's that where I drew, and that's where I drew in the practice match for the members on oh, that cool. side. So they've seen that. It's going to be a very similar match to have that date, what I'm hoping for. But your peg dictates. That's the key thing with Westwood, is that you cannot plan on exactly what you're doing until you've sure. plumbed up. Is it that different? Like the pegs, unbelievable like depths and stuff really, like really that. unbelievable. Yeah, Silt. different fish in different areas. A little bit, right? Okay. Yeah, a little bit. There's more carp in areas, more F1s in areas, a few barbel in areas. Go on a barbel. So they're the three different. They're your lucky species. fish in your wide world, aren't they? Barbel? They are when it comes to fish show. Yeah, I ain't caught a barbel for such Mate. a long time now. That being an omen, actually, so he's, he's caught a barbel first. Chuck is going to win. Long. You won, Jay. Lad. It's on. Um, but no, we still have to have a basic plan. And I think the basic plan is going to be, for me, starting the edge, depending yep. on the edge. Yeah, I may draw a peg that isn't worth starting in the edge because the depths are wrong or whatever else. Yeah. But more than likely, I'm going to start in the edge. Right. And that's going to be in two ways. It's either going to be with my first rig, which is standard muddy style rig. All right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing fancy about that. Point four, I'm never, ever a fan of muddies because I find them... Um, What's the word? A bit buoyant, a, a bit too... A bit too angry and a bit too... Yeah, not too quite enough finesse is what I'd like. But it's required there for stability. Huge thing of stability. It, it's it's a, yeah, it's a windy place and it, right. it bounces off the banks. So muddies are definitely right in the really shallow bit. Right. I mean, that one's set at, well, that one's set at about 18 inch. It'll it's be somewhere between 12 and 18 inch if I was to have this in my peg. That's probably where I'm going to start, tight in. And what are you starting on bait-wise? Um, my frozen that... expanders. Wherever you are, or yeah. is it dictated to uh, no, other areas? No, pretty much I'm going to start on my coast and expand this, wherever right, I am, just, on, just in the edge. Just nice, just tuck it in one, just nice, depending on what I've got. Right, okay. Every peg's a bit different. It might be in this step, if I've got this step. Right. Well, yeah. hook lengths and all that, just standard foot point. Yeah, let's go, in the let's summit, go through or? all that, I like that. Go on, go through all um, that. In this one's case, I've gone a bit heavier. Yeah, so main line on every single one is 016. Yeah. Yeah, nice robust, gets job done. On this rig, I've got orange slick. Through your little baby kits, he's through baby kits, isn't he? A little bit heavier, just because yeah, there's man. a lot of carp. Right. And when you're in that shallow water, you're more likely to catch a few carp. Just gets job done a bit quicker. Yeah. So point four muddy, really, really simple. Big back shot. It's missing a number twelve underneath it, but that'll be on. Just bulk on top of a three inch. Yeah, man. And that's got a fourteen. You animal, yeah, Jamie. Yeah. Proper hook. So I've got a size fourteen to oh fourteen hook length. Right. Okay. So proper. No so, messing about that rig. Right. Yeah, and that'll yeah. double up. I'll have exactly the same one for a muddy rig across if it plums upright. Yeah, not something I'm planning on catching, but for the mud across. Is it, obviously, you can't get flat spots, is it all over? Really, really sh it is all over. Very unlikely I'll do that, right. but I will have one just in case. Go on, mate. I mean, I'm not going to talk about that today, but yeah, 14 to a 14. Big hook, no messing. Yeah. Because I can bury that in an expander, Proper lovely. That, Jay. Just gets job done. Yeah, I like that. There's no messing, keeps it all nice. So that is me, probably me starting rig. Right, okay. And what's really important with that one is messing about with pots, different size pots. Is that so you're not bringing too many fish in this? Exactly that. Right. Because okay. it might take quite a bit of bait to get them in. So I might need a bigger pot, then. or I might want to. You've got to play about with pots a lot. And that's just going to be to begin with, just lose micros. 
Right, okay. Just nice, I think, with an expander, just to get a quick start. And I think, what do you reckon, Richard? We should get half an hour out of that. First weigh-in. Yeah. First weigh-in. So you've caught £46 in your first weigh-in. What are you doing next, Jay? Imagine that. I'd love that. Well, see. Well, but yeah, I think the net's see. coming out yeah. changes everything. I will not come and interview you at this point. No, I've got a restraining order currently <laughs> going through the system. So anyway, that's done. Next, um, do let me continue with the edge. It's not something I'm, I'm planning on going back out and coming back in the edge later on. But let me cover all the edge. So you've seen the edge tight, if you want to fish tight. Yeah. However, you haven't always got that on every peg. Yeah, some pegs are a bit deeper because you've got some mesh and things like that. Oh, and so the hay got, bales and all that, is it? You've all got all sorts right, of things. Okay. It all depends on the depth. So you've got about two and a half foot on some pegs. What, right enough. tight in, Jay? Ish, yeah. Right. Sometimes you can't fish tight in because the mesh. Oh, right, you just said that. That, that, that holds you further out. And if the weather's perfect, flat, calm, lovely, maybe I want something with a bit more finesse. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I haven't popped my bead over that and that's bothering me, OCD. Jamie! Um, right, okay. So in this case, I've got one of our little, little the shallow yeah, floats, but I'm going to call them diamonds, carbon diamonds. Yeah. Because in 0.4, I don't use them for shallow. I mean, once I get up to 0.4 size, that 0.4, that's 0.3, that, but I'll yeah. set it up in a 0.3 and a 0.4. Yeah. Yeah, because it gives me plenty of weight and it's fished the same as a muddy sort of thing. Yeah, so you can just, just see I've just more got more finesse as you say though, wouldn't it? Yeah, six yeah, number yeah. tens there. Yeah. On top of a three inch again with a sixteen on that one, sixteen to 012 on that one. Bit more finesse, but for a bit deeper. But you're fishing exactly the same, Marco's at Potentially. Oh, here we go. And may throw casters on that as well. Right, okay. Yeah, just loose leading casters in the edge has been really, really, really good. That's it. So it's worth doing that just for a bit of noise. Right. I might do that on me edge I don't fancy as much. Yeah. So on the or slightly deeper, maybe down the shelf on that one. Are you going to have both edges, Jay? Is it two and miss one? I, I, I can't remember how they pegged it. Two and it. miss one, but all depends on your edges. How they plumb up dictates everything. So you can have one this side, the other anglers on then. Obviously, you just yeah. That, that's what, last year I fished towards Charlie, and he was the, the angler next to me. Right. Because okay. they had reed beds that way, and it separated oh, so things. All oh, right. Okay. Every peg's different. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you'd like to go to your room, but it all depends. It's for me. Hopefully, on the day, I'd love it if I had. I want my room on my left. Yeah. Being a right hander, yeah, yeah, that yeah. way's my will. Mm. And I've got Rich here doing his stuff. Doing his thing, haven't I? Never asked me, folks. I, I can see why. why, to be fair. Yeah. Um, so that goes on it. So I don't really want to have to fish that way. Yeah. But who knows? Like that, that. That'll be the take. So yeah, that's so, my slightly deeper one. Light to elastic, just for going a bit further down. Yeah. More likely to catch F1s. Yeah. Just a bit of finesse involved. So whilst you're obviously starting in your edges, what, what are you doing with your feed on your other lines? Are you like feeding the shallow swim or anything like that? You're literally not doing anything. You're seeing what's going on first, you're seeing what people are doing. It. Westwood, you do not need, unless you're planning on fishing shallow. Is that just because there's too, that many fish there? Like, it's ridiculous. Really there's so many fish in the place. Right. And feeding creates problems. Yeah, prepping it creates problems because there's so many. So you and can still, just start a line and feed. Yeah, the stuff. only line that needs to be fed is your short up and down your line. Right. And I don't know if I'll do that. Again, depends on... Let me come on to that in a minute. A minute. So next, once I've been down the edge... What, the edge dweller? I'm planning on fishing sort of 11 metres. Oh, right, OK. This is me line, 11 metre so line. So what's this going to be? Just uh, bottom of the far slope or something? No, up or? a bit. Oh, right, quite out the hard, slope. Out the silt. That's right. probably a bit adventurous, I think it's going to be. That's Bob more Bob. likely. Nice little bobby. Yeah, which is there. what? How deep's that? Yeah, that's going to be about right. Two, two foot, foot in it. Two, yeah. two and a half foot max. Yeah. It's going to be about right. What's, I can't even read that. 25. 24 inches. 24, two foot. That's two foot. There you go, two foot. Bang on. And what are you doing there? It's got to be hard pellet, haven't it? You've got to put hard pellets in somewhere, Jay, lad. I don't know. Oh, blooming it. I don't know. Is it one of them you're going to decide on the day when you draw your peg? I'm well, going to, this peg, Sunday's going to dictate. In this case, I put a hook on to fish, art, to fish maggots. Yeah, and it is. 0.2 float. Yeah, really, really sensible. That light elastic again makes a big difference. Light elastic. They just come out your peg nicer. because of the nicer. shallow water and they're just like charging everywhere? And I've, I've never known a place where there's such a big contrast between a fish in the mouth and a fish foul up. Fish in the mouth like a dog on a lead at Westwood. It's lovely. Just, just yeah. catch them nice. One in the up the bottom. Wow. Angry as and... They want to do a lap of the lake. Potential for carnage and destroying your yeah, peg. Yeah, but right. a light elastic just seems to make them behave better. And I think it keeps them in your peg for a bit longer because it doesn't create any commotion in your peg. So it's just a little bit nicer you go back in and get a bite. I suppose that's the disadvantage of a shallow lake and all, in it, if you foul up? Yeah, just... it's the wild. Absolutely wild. So that one's point two. Yeah, man. Decent bristle on it. I need to be able to see a decent bristle. Yeah. Yeah, and just with spread out tens. So it's got five spread out tens. And I could fish that with either maggots or hard pellets. The one thing that we found with our pellets, um, kicked off on it great, caught 10 fish, say. 
nice and steady and it was good. Uh, then went to fish maggots on another line. That was good as well. When I came back to fish pellets, I couldn't get a second go on it. It was hard to get them to come back into my peg. And with pellets as well at this place, with hard ones, they seem to have a very short window in the time that they come into your peg, get excited, and then leave your peg. Because at Westwood, they are immediately on your bait. Westwood. So they're straight in. If you didn't hook a fish within 10, 15 seconds, you had to feed again. Really? Yeah, it was. you got such a little window with pellets. So what are you doing, like tapping a few in a pot, twisting it back round, that kind of thing? No, so just literally back. ship out, put six in. That's oh, it. You, right, shipping back. Try and get it, but you have to come back. If, but it was just wrong because it was like that. It wasn't like that when, the first time I went on it. It was good. Right. The second time I had to make too much happen to get them in my peg. Maggots, however, you got a minute window. And could you like loose feed the maggots? Well, no, with the catapult, no, still the catapult, catapult stays up, stays on the whirl. Oh really? Yeah, no catapults even come to Westworld with me. Oh, flip. Unless, yeah, I'm, feed, unless yeah, I'm feeding mate. maggots there. So shell is not in your armory whatsoever. Potential for sure. We'll come on to that next. But this is for 11 meters up the slope. What's, this is going to be me two tick over lines. Right, okay. Yeah, all about rotating them where I just catch three, leave it. And said what was the thing we said, Rich? So you, said we have to it. feed it, leave it two minutes, then go on it and catch one. What, without feeding it again? Just that Maybe feed it there. again, but it needed that. It always had a two to five minute slow bit where you didn't get a bite. And what are these F1s or carps? Both. Oh, blooming it. Right. They're both, but nice, lovely ticking over. Quite fast, but you're yeah. scatty, but you're fast. Right. So it was really good. I'd love to be able to switch those two lines. Yeah, before coming back in the edge last hour. That's what I'm hoping to do. But we've covered the edge, so that's done. What hook lengths on them, Jay? 0-12. 0-12 and 18, 16. 16. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Really, 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 really simple. Right. Yeah, done. And the la no, we've got two more rigs. The last rig that I'm not planning on fishing. In fact, no, I've got I need to talk about some other pegs as well. Because that rig I've just shown you at 11 metres, I'm going to use identical rig across if I draw the 20s. If you've got two foot across on it. Is that what a barbel are? Right, I'll okay. be fed up. I'll put 014 up Glenfarn. Yeah. And the next elastic up, but it'll be the same. Yeah, I'm going to feed casters in instead of maggots. Right. But we'll see. That's a, a peg and anomaly, so who knows? So last one. That's where power was last year, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Last one is going to be right there. Just yeah. where I resharded. Just where I resharded. No. Get out of his peg resharded. It's going to be five or six meters depending on me depth. Right. Yeah. Some pegs have got two foot down middle. If yeah. I've got that, I'm not even going to fish it. Is that because you're going to take them way off your off your other line? Yeah, and, and if you fish it, if it's two foot down the middle, it is liquid silt. It's all oh, right, okay. Because it means it's where the aerator's built it all up. I mean, what pegs will have that? The thirties will have that, or in fish oil, it'll be like twenty to twenty four. 25, no, so probably 22 to 25 will be the siltiest area in the lake. Um, where Bagger was last year as well, very, very silty. There's a few little pockets of it anyway. Right, okay. I yeah, won't yeah. fish down the middle on them because there's no point you just in liquid. Yeah. And that gets rid of this rig and the shallow rig. But if I've got three and a half, four foot, yeah. then I'm happy to put it in. So this is my deck rig, really, really simple. 0.4 float. Yeah, man. Because it is a bit of a windy old. 0.4 carbon stem float. Yeah. All nice, all nice. I'm wiggling it every edge to do Richard's head in. Richard. So like him, big long float as well. Just for stability, stability Wing, windiest venue in the world. Same elastic, red stuff. Yeah. Soft, they behave themselves. Yeah, just nice. And then I'm going to switch it around that way. Sorry, Richard. And it's a bit of a taper. Go on the taper. Yeah, dead simple. Two number 10s. You have to roach. Number it's nine's good, it's above it. Like no, because it, it's positive. Do you know what I mean? I don't like a solid bulk, it's really but it's... It's this bit here, isn't it? This is lovely. Yeah, but it gets down fast, that. Yeah, Mum. That ain't going to muck about, because more than likely, I'm going to be six inches shallower than that as well. So that block of number nine's there, that's getting down quick. No messing, is it? Standard, normal, 016, same on all of them again. All lovely. Number nines, two number tens, four inch chuckling on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 012 again, 16 hook. What are we doing on that one? Maggots? Maggots or casters. Yeah. One of them ones. Yeah, go, don't go, know what to go, feed go. yet. Depends on the wind, depends on the depth. All the side on maggots or casters. And whether I need to catch shallow or not. Which is the last rig that on the shallow. I'll set three of them up. I thought shallow would just be like proper in your armoury and like, I didn't know you wouldn't set it up on. But I, I hate it. it. If it's too shallow to catch shallow, isn't that you can do, yeah, is it? Yeah, you know I am. I hate it with a passion. Yeah. And the rule at Westwood is six and six. Westwood? Yeah. Six and six. Six so below, six, six above. Minimum. So you could have, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. So I've, like I've done one bodge rig. Obviously, yeah. I'll have multiples because I want can you a bit use, deeper. Can you use a jigger? No, you can't use jigger. So I can't bring you you can't use jigger. You can't overshot. Right, okay. Yeah, you've got to behave yourself at Westwood, do it all, you know what I mean, with yeah, yeah. natural rigs. Yeah. So my two, two of my rigs are going to be like that. Yeah. Let's see, number one dibbers, number 10 underneath, one or two number 10s on top of a three inch hook length. Yeah, Nothing fancy about shallow rigs. You know I mean, I'm not planning on using them. But I'll have two dibbers, one set at six and six, one set at probably 10 and six, 
and then one at 10 inch with a bigger lash and then one a bit longer again just in case but it might think i suppose it is it like a bit pong of it you've got like so many different pegs and so many potential different methods you've got to set everything up you well, haven't because it's easy it's all 012 up clamps and it's simple like it's the depth wise it of yeah it is really simple but it's just you've got to have every option covered for each peg but once you draw your peg that's a key thing there is doing two things three things at the most yeah and being busy just with rotation not being like carnage and putting new doesn't exist in there and no just rotation is massive right you need to be able to two 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 and skip you never ever clatter them at West, or I never have. I've never clattered them at Westwood. It's always skippy about it, which it very much seems to be at the minute. The weights have gone right down and it looks lovely. So at this point, I'll just be landing my ninth bar. So you'll be on what you've been on. We have six weighing by now, and you've got like, <laughs> yeah, what have you got on? You've got 73 kilos, 500 oh, on, I like on the board. Oh, that'd be good, mate, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely. I'm but just about working my way around to you to come and jump in with yeah, you. Yeah, we'll just you see it. your burnt head coming right. around. No! Nobody <laughs> likes to see him just be like the rat jig, just in case. But then that's instant DQ, is it? Rat jig, yeah. No rat jigs oh, allowed oh, on that one, Andrew. But yeah, what's the weight? Oh, Richard, it's in kilos as well. So I never pushed it last year. Was it 50? There's three on 50 kilo, wasn't it? Last year, I'm gonna go 63 kilo. That's the winning 63, weight. 63, any grams? No, just dead. What are you saying, Richard? You always blag me. 63 kilos there. dead. I'm going for 63 kilo. Go on, it's gonna win. 54 kilo. 54. I'm going to think someone will walk away with it, that peg one or something like that. I'm going to go 71 kilos, 820 grams. That's What's that, 160 pounds? I reckon it's potential. You draw up the arm or something like I've that. I've massively got potential on peg one. Definitely. Massively. Leave in the comments. Need everyone to guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah do that. No guessing on Saturday, people. It's got to be before Saturday. And the winner gets a date with Andrew. I actually, I'm uh, fully booked up <laughs> until uh, yeah, quite a bit into the future. So uh, don't mean a date. I meant a date. We we'll take you out for your wine and dine, yeah. Oh, that yeah, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm free whenever. <laughs> oh god. So yes, Good hopefully it's going well. we'll yeah. See you in it. Fingers crossed, mate. Right, so we hope you are enjoying the video that you're watching. If not, have just watched. But what we'd also like you to see is the packages that we include for our more technical, informational stuff, where what we can bring to you is all we pretty much know about the technical side and our match style side of fishing. And I'm what not we in have, this bit. <laughs> you are, of course you are in this bit. We have two sides of things. We have the basic package that for $4.99, you can watch us fish live matches, a Q&A every month, and additional stuff from Matty Doors with live matches and more technical stuff on his side. Or we have the all access package where you can literally see technical insights live matches from again from us but also from some of the best anglers flipping on the planet i mean we treat it as three days coaching for us and we go out and we show you what we're learning for anglers like darren cox andy bennett their ship to name but a few well worth a look if you fancy having a little bit more fishing content to watch